Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having an excellent day today. In the studio, I'm gonna be unboxing and playing for the very first time a budget 100 watt tube amp. Now, tube amps at the best of times are very expensive and finding budget options, well, there's just not a lot of them, let alone a 50 watt or in this case, a 100 watt tube amp. So this is a budget 100 watt tube amp. Let's go ahead, unbox it, see what we got. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and reveal the tube amp. I am seeing this for the very first time with you guys. Here we go. SR. <laughs> you guys know what this one is here? So this is, oh boy, this is pretty heavy. Uh, well, tube amp heads are pretty heavy. This is the stage right 100 watt tube amp head. So yes, we're going to plug it in and take a listen to it together. And we'll talk about uh, the basic features, all that kind of stuff. Here we go. All right, you guys, here's a look at the front panel. Now, if you don't know stage, right, they're known for making budget tube amps from little combos all the way up to a hundred watt heads. So it's going to be interesting. This is the SB 100. Um, you've got your power and standby. Uh, toggles right there. Then you've got a master section. You've got master volume, presence, and verb. So that'll affect both channels. Then you've got your clean channel, bass, middle, and treble with a bright switch, and of course a separate level. Then you've got channel select there, and if you go to your drive channel, you've got a separate level, separate three-band EQ, and of course your gain control. So this is your drive channel, and then if we go back to the clean channel and then the master section. That's the basics. Um, let's look at the backside and plug it in. Now on the backside, the first thing I noticed, of course, were the four 6L6 JJ tubes. Nice to see some brand name tubes in there. Really great. Um, in the cabinet, it tells you exactly which tubes are in there. There's a 12 AT7, there's four 12 AX7s, and there is the 6L6, four of them, as I mentioned. Now in terms of the outputs, well, we've got a uh, four ohm, two 8 ohm, one 8 ohm, two 16 ohm, and one 16 ohm. So we've got tons of options for cabinets, which is nice. I'm just gonna be using um, the 8 ohm. So that's pretty much it. That's the beauty and simplicity of a tube amp. There's no menus to scroll, no parameters to save, no deep diving, anything. You've got a couple channels and a few knobs and off you go. So I'll link to it down in the video description below for full specs, but that's just kind of like a brief run through. It's time to plug it in for the very first time. Let's do it together and see what this thing sounds like. So I'll plug in using the PRS SE McCarty. Of course, the SE version is the much more affordable version. Uh, fantastic guitar for the price. Let's pair it up with the stage right. Here we go. <laughs> So that's with everything at 12 o'clock on this amp. Now, what we wanna do is, yeah, just test out some of the parameters here. So let's hit the bright switch. This bright switch is incredibly powerful. So if I just play a few chords for you guys. So yeah, whenever I flip that uh, bright switch on, it's super bright, and then when I take it off, a little bit warmer. Now, one of the settings I like to experiment with right away um, when I'm talking about clean channels is to take the mids and just cut them a little bit and boost the treble. So the bright switch is off again. Obviously, you could hear it when it kicks in. It adds a ton of shimmer. So it's a very like powerful toggle. Um, but yes, when we uh, cut some mids, add some treble, let's just try uh, some of those chords here. Really 
really lovely, big and warm. And of course, the advantage of going with a 100 watt amp over say something like a 20 watt or a 50 watt is the headroom. So, you know, I could power this up all day long and just, you know, use powerful humbuckers and it won't break up. And that's the beauty of the 100 watt. So uh, yeah, just the massive amount of headroom. So if you need uh, clean tones or you play like, I don't know, like high energy country or something like that, where you're like, it just absolutely cannot break up. 100 watt is the way to go. So yeah, really powerful. Um, if I put this back to 12 and just cut some of the treble, uh, definitely warms it up really big. So that's just with everything at 12 and just dialing back the treble a bit. So each control, uh, really, really powerful. All right, you guys, now let's switch over and try the dirty channel. For the clean channel, I was using the neck humbucker. I'm gonna switch to the bridge humbucker on the PRS and we're gonna see what kind of crunch gain and high gain we can get on this dirty channel. Here we go. <laughs> So that's with everything at 12 o'clock. Now normally I might, again, like maybe cut some of the mids, maybe add a bit of treble. Now that's with, again, the gain at 12. I'm gonna just dial it back a bit. Cool. Now let's go back up to the gain at 12 o'clock and then I'm going to yeah, cut some of those mids and I'm going to see how much we can get here. So I'm going to go up to about three quarters. <laughs> Add some treble, cut some mids there again. And let's go all the way up and just see what we can get here. So here are my initial thoughts on the SB100 having obviously just unboxed it with you guys and played through a few tones. Uh, number one, you will be able to get great tones on this amp. I mean, I had everything at 12 o'clock plugged in and fantastic starting tone. I thought it sounded really, really good. The EQ is powerful. Uh, in the past, I had looked at the SB20, which is the 20 watt little brother. Very similar to this amp. It does not have um, the master presence control. So this one does get a, an extra control here as well, but very similar amps in terms of layout. Um, in terms of, uh, yeah, the controls, my only gripe is these chicken head knobs are kind of like pretty small like they're the, the mini chicken heads and on a big uh, head like this i would like to see some fuller size knobs on these that's really my only 
you know, gripe about this amp. Uh, I think the tones are really good. You're going to be able to dial uh, great tones in. I wouldn't mind a boost switch on this as well, particularly on the dirty channel. It gets you into kind of like that hard rock territory, but not like the super chugging metal territory. And of course you can put a pedal uh, in front of it. It's got the effects loop on the back. So there's ways to kind of uh, obviously get around that by uh, using a boost pedal or by using a distortion pedal in front of the amp. But uh, in terms of the, the native controls on the amp, wouldn't mind a boost switch as well, but we're talking about like pretty budget territory for a <laughs> 100 watt amp. I don't think anything can uh, touch this for the price, um, which is like 650 bucks <laughs> for a 100 watt tube head with tons of uh, headroom and a, a like really, really good EQ, powerful EQ. So in terms of shaping your tone, uh, there's gonna be options here. So for that price and this, I, I guess I can forgive a lot of things because yes, it just sounds great out of, out of the, out of the box, but it does lack like a boost, uh, you know, a boost switch. Doesn't come with a pedal for switching a channel. So, you know, that'll set you back 20, 30 bucks for just a generic one, or if you have one lying around, uh, does not come with one. So be aware of that. But in terms of like what the amp offers and the price, it's, yeah, like I said, I don't think anything is gonna come close. It's a great, fantastic price. Um, my other stage, uh, stage right SB20 is working perfectly to this day. It was years ago that I first tried that out, um, as well as the little uh, 112 combo. My brother's using that with his kids in this music room. Uh, it's been years, no trouble with it all. So I've had zero trouble with the stage right stuff. Um, it's been perfect for me. So anyway, uh, go with the SB100 uh, if you need the extra, extra headroom uh, or need the extra volume. Uh, really great budget amp. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so. Other than that, I will link to the stage right down in the video description below. You can check out pricing, specs, all that kind of stuff down there along with the gear I use. Uh, you can check that out if you're so inclined. Other than that, have yourself a great day. Take care.